So this is a Beckett AFG burner. And right here on the back, you're gonna see that little model number and serial number here. It says um, model AFG, and uh, it'll have all the manufacturer's settings back here. So I might be in the video helping my dad because I think he needs help. Your dad definitely so, needs help. Yeah, because that whole thing, oh my gosh, that is humongous. So let's go over all the parts real quick. So this here is the blower motor. This is the burner housing. So you have an air band and an air shutter. And then you have the fuel pump. Then you have the fuel line going up to the nozzle. You have the ignition transformer. On this side here, you got the burner controller. In the front, you got the blast tube. This flange is used to mount the burner on your boiler or your furnace. Inside here, you can see the head of the burner. It has these little air veins in it. Sorry this uh, burner is really dirty. Um, this is one we're going to service in another video. I just wanted to show you the parts of the burner. And um, we might do another video of this, and we might do a cleaner one. Just saying. We might. All right, so uh, we're going to need a few tools to take this burner apart. Um, I just have some combination wrenches, usually a pair of pliers, and an 11 and one screwdriver. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the fuel pump. And what we need for that is a 7 16 wrench to take off the fuel line, and then we're going to use a flathead screwdriver uh, to remove the fuel pump bolts. So whenever you take the fuel lines off, you want to have something to catch any fuel that leaks out of the fuel lines. Okay, next step is going to take the fuel pump bolts off. They're located right down here in the center of the fuel pump. If you have a hard time taking your bolts off the fuel pump, then um, you can also use a 3 8 uh, wrench. So guys, even though you can't see me, um, I'm still helping with my dad. I'm being the cameraman, and whenever he needs something, I'll just go grab it for him. Let me go ahead and pull the fuel pump out. No, that's perfect. So this is the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump shaft. This hooks onto a coupling inside the burner. It's located right inside of the hole here. Sometimes you can't remove the coupling if it's stuck on the blower motor. So now this here is a shutter. There's two screws. They're um, 5 16 screws. Okay. So this here is the, the shutter. So then you got the band, 5 16 screw. You can just loosen that up and slide it off. So let's go ahead and open up the ignition transformer. So this is a look inside the burner. This is um, the ignition transformer, flame sensor. The electrodes are right here. Okay, and then and the nozzle attaches here and goes down into the blast tube. And if you look down close in the bottom, you'll see the fan blade. Go ahead and take off the burner controller to get to the wiring. So let me unwire. I'm gonna unwire this controller. Okay. Okay, so this here is the burner controller. This one here is um, R4184. Uh, there's many different models. Um, here, right here, Ryan will show you the one next to me. This one here is a different one on a Carlin, different burner controller on a Carlin. And then up there, you can see 
up there on the shelf, you see the other older style Honeywell um, burner controller. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this flame sensor out. That was easy. And now I'm gonna unscrew this ignition transformer. Okay, so this is the ignition transformer. It's called a Franceformer. This is an old style, uh, puts out about 10,000 volts. It will spark across the electrodes at the tip of the burner to ignite the flame. Like electricity? Yes. Like lightning stuff? Yes. That's dangerous. That's right. Because if you get hit by it, if you're lucky, you'll die. If you're lucky, you'll die? No, if you're lucky, you'll survive, and you're not lucky, you'll just die. Yes. And okay. Daddy is a professional. I, I try to be a professional. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So, okay, so now I'm going to take the blower motor off. Uh, this one here is a 3 8 inch wrench also. This is one thing I like about this 11-in-1 is that it is um, a 3 8 it's a 5 16 it's a Phillips, the square heads, the Torx, it does everything. That's what's nice about this. So there's two screws. There's two screws on the burner. There's one at the top and one in the lower, the lower corner right here on the bottom. Uh, yep, I saw it. Okay. So here's the blower motor. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, maybe I thought that was actually what a ball look. So this is the coupling. This coupling joins the fuel pump to the blower motor. You get air and fuel at the same time. Okay. And if you notice earlier, Ryan wasn't sure what this little thing was right here. Looks like a danger, a danger button which will explode you. That's right. So this is a button. If the burner motor ever gets too hot, this will trip, which means it will pop open and then kill power to the burner motor. Cool. And if this is ever popped out, all you have to do is push the button and then it'll restart it. If this is starting to trip, it's because the bearings in the motor are starting to go bad or the fuel pump is starting to fail. Um, something else is going on and it's causing that uh, motor to work too hard and trip. And you see this little um, plastic shroud right here. This is um, to guide the airflow. Um, AFG Beckett burners um, all include this little um, air guide right here. You flip it around and you can see this is where the fuel pump mounts. The air shutter goes here and then the air band goes right around here. Now you got um, what's left inside of here is our electrodes. This little nut right here that we're going to remove. Okay. Now, sometimes this nut is really tight. Um, you just need to snug this up. You don't want to over tighten this. It'll strip out real easy. It's just made of aluminum. Okay, so now what we're going to do is remove the electrodes. Um, I got the nut off here. What you're going to do is you're going to you're going to wiggle it around. Okay, and then you're going to start to pull it backwards. And then sometimes you may have to flip this completely upside down in order to remove it. But in this case, I'm able to just pull it out. Okay. So this is a look at the electrodes. This is the nozzle. This is called the nozzle adapter. And um, so you can see the electrodes on this are pretty wore out. Ryan, I need a flashlight, please. All right, thank Boom. you. So you can see the burner head down in there. Um, this is actually an F4 head. You can see it right here on the back. You can see it, it says head. Let me see if you can get it. It says head F4. So the, so the F4 series uh, burner heads actually stay at the end of the blast tube. So this head is rated for the size of the nozzle in your burner. You would have to change his head if you have a bigger nozzle or a smaller nozzle. And it's, there's a charts that you use um, once you set this up initially. And then after that, uh, you just continually use the same head. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out this air guide. And um, there's two screws. 
Sometimes these are Phillips screws. Uh, in this case, they're Torx. There's one here and one on the other side. So I like to take these out whenever I clean um, a burner because you get a lot of dust uh, accumulated on it. You just want to be careful because it is made of plastic that you don't, um, you don't crack it or break it. This is what that little air guide looks like. Okay, you see it can kind of get pretty dirty. So definitely want to pull these out and clean them. And the last thing you have is this little adjustment plate here. So this little adjustment here um, is used to adjust your nozzle assembly. On the motor shaft, you're going to see a flat spot. There's a little hole right through the fan blade, and you're going to put this Allen wrench in here, and then you're going to just loosen this up. And then you just try to slide this off. Okay, so that's the blower wheel. That's pretty much it. So here's a look at all the parts that we pulled out. You got the blower motor, you got the blower wheel, you got the fuel pump, the electrode assembly, the nozzle adapter, the um, transformer, the air shutter, the air band, burner controller. Thanks for watching our videos and hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned to our videos.